This is one of several videos that I'll be reviewing and sharing that show hemp spray techniques using clay and hemp. In this title, it simply says isolating naturally, doubling your wall with earth and hemp. I think they found it easier to say than, or trips off the tongue better than, argile and chanvre. So they simply say terre chanvre, but it's actually spraying cob, if you will. Well, let's get started. Pour isoler les murs, vous connaissez sans doute les panneaux de laine, mais il existe une autre technique très performante qui consiste à protéger. Now, this system was devised by Eco Patrica, and what they did is they they matched up a Euromare three nozzle nozzle, an Immer mortar plaster pump, and a herd blower of their own configuration, but looks like a cellulose blowing machine. Le granula végétal est du chanvre issu du territoire avoisinant. Attention, pas le cannabis, mais un cousin dont on utilise ici la chaîne vote, c'est-à-dire. So remember, if you see hot, that's because sho, which is lime, was translated incorrectly. Vote chain is chaîne vote, which actually means herd. La tige broyée et le lion est tout simplement une terre. And lion is lion, which is binder Pour obtenir un bon coefficient de résistance thermique, le fameux R, les maçons appliquent en général 12 à 15 cm de mélange, ce qui représente un volume important de matière à appliquer avec une projeteuse. All right, let's stop right here. And first off, this is obviously the lowest carbon footprint that one could possibly imagine. Because there is no lime, there's only clay and hemp. I mean, that's the real deal there. So we can see this is obviously an immer just by color alone. The label is right there. This is Eco Patrica's logo. And that's the where he's putting in the uh, slip in the parlance of potters or clay. The French call it barbotine. And this is their sprayer. Now, they pulled it off of here. It's usually sitting on the, on the uh, right next to the blower. Let's continue to watch. Anyone that operates blown cellulose machines recognizes this machinery. Now, Euromare would want you to buy their entire setup. And I'm going to do a complete review on Euromare, but let's go look at it real quickly. And in order to understand Euromare entirely, you have to understand that they manufacture a lot of equipment, kind of like Graco. Go to insulation, you get hemp lime units. This was pretty much their original unit. That was a mix on the fly, uh, plaster mortar render pump, the air compressor, and the insulation blowing machine. Now, originally, they used a Turbosol 112, not the Turbosol 164, but there it is there. As I said, I'm going to go over a complete uh, review of this machine, showing not only stuff from Euromare itself, but from workers. So let's get back to this. What applications is what's asking here? Now, this is an interesting project, let's say. So you, if you notice this continuing theme in Batillation, older buildings, they're spraying directly against um, either brick or um, stone uh, with no problems. 
l'exploitation d'une des dépendances. Dans la partie existante, construite en briques, les murs ont été doublés avec 14 cm de terre chanvre, 14 cm de terre, terre chanvre, 5 cm de laine de chanvre, et la dalle isolante se compose. So, slab is dalle and shop is screed. What advantages? L'importance de l'inertie, ça va être sur le confort d'été, de ne pas récupérer les calories euh, trop vite avant que les murs se déchargent de leur chaleur euh, la nuit. Après, ça va dépendre des types de chauffage aussi intérieur, mais avec par exemple un poêle de masse ou un chauffage rayonnant et non pas par convection, les murs vont emmagasiner quand même une partie de la, de la chaleur et la restituer euh, sur la longueur. Autre atout, le doublage terre-chanvre est un régulateur de la vapeur d'eau. La terre a des qualités de gestion de l'hygrométrie aussi qui est assez énorme. Et généralement, sur le bâti, on parle beaucoup d'isolation. On oublie souvent le, le caractère euh, gestion de l'hygrométrie du matériau qui va jouer euh, à un niveau très important en fait, pour l'impression du confort qu'on a dans la maison. En fait. Now, interesting thing, the... Anybody that builds with Cobb knows that there's hydrothermic activity there, that it will absorb the humidity in the room and slowly re-release it, just like hemp uh, creed itself does. Alright, that's it. Enjoy. I will do periodically other posts on sprayed hemp clay because it's fascinating.